Hello beautiful souls. I'm hearing, every time you start to move on with someone new romantically or really move your life forward, it's almost as though you send out an energetic signal to this masculine. Spiritually, telepathically, he picks up on that signal and then comes back online in your consciousness. This is such a hard dynamic to even begin to find the words to explain, but I know that if you're a divine feminine feeling this energetic dynamic, you know what I'm talking about. Every time this masculine comes back into your consciousness, it might almost feel as, as though he is energetically sabotaging whatever else you have going on in your life. So, let's say you are romantically talking to someone new. Let's say you've even decided to commit yourself to a certain person, a relationship romantically, and you really feel like you're moving on from this person or situation. I feel that that is the exact moment something will happen to psychically reconnect the two of you. And again, I feel a lot of this reconnection is actually happening psychically, subconsciously, telepathically. This masculine may be someone who is very logical-minded when it comes to the idea of spirituality or soul connections. I feel that consciously he might deny believing in these types of things or connections. There may even be some block here because of his background, either his culture, his upbringing, his religion, his belief systems that prevent him from accepting these types of concepts and ideas. And yet, unconsciously, this masculine absolutely knows how to manifest because every time he senses unconsciously that you are moving on, it's like he sends you a truckload of energy and then you feel the pull back to him. And every time this happens, it feels like you are meeting or falling in love with this masculine all over again when you thought that you were clear of him. You thought you were clear of this person or situation emotionally. And then all of a sudden, it's like you'll feel this huge burst of emotion around him. You'll feel this pull back to him that's almost unexplainable. And again, can lead to these cycles of frustration where you go from feeling like you're moving on with your life romantically to suddenly feeling pulled back to this particular person. The thing is, I feel that when he does manifest you in this way, he will not necessarily reach out to you in 3D. So he might not communicate consciously. He might not call you, text you. But he will manifest you to do these things. Again, I feel he's not doing this intentionally. It's not malicious or anything like that. It's just that this masculine is actually a very old soul and a very powerful unconscious manifester. I also kept picking up something about music when I was receiving these downloads, so I don't know if this masculine is a musician himself or if he just really has an affinity for music. Maybe the two of you shared songs together. I'm also hearing song telepathy. So I get that the dominant way his soul will communicate to you telepathically is through song lyrics. From Divine Muscular Type yes if you believe. So you might be driving and you hear a particular song and it's almost like he is communicating something to you through particular lyrics of that song on a telepathic level. I'm hearing, yeah, I'm hearing his soul say, I send you songs so you'll remember me or so that you won't forget about me. This masculine is really afraid of you forgetting him, leaving him in the past. But he also has this sense as though, because from the hidden oracle right away at the beginning of the reading, I pulled the card. I know I messed up everything. I feel this masculine sees you, divine feminine, as the love of his life. That was coming through really strongly all day, like this masculine seeing you as his person, as the love of his life. I'm also getting that, just to put it bluntly, everyone, this masculine may have tried to date or to talk to romantically between perhaps when your connection ended or when you separated, and now there's been nothing but a distraction. That message was coming through really strongly, 
like hearing them say, everyone and everything else just feels like a distraction from you, divine feminine. You are this masculine's person. They've known it since they met you, since they connected with you the first time, and they've never actually been able to let go of you, even though I feel they've done a really good job making it look like they have moved on in the physical. Whether this means they've been really focused on themselves, their life really disconnected from you in 3D, it really doesn't matter. I feel that this masculine also has been thinking a lot about kissing you or about the chemistry they felt if the two of you ever did kiss or physically connect in some way. But for some reason, I'm specifically hearing kissing. I feel that they have never experienced the same chemistry they had with you with anyone else. For someone who's tuning in here, there's a very specific message that you and this masculine could kiss or hold each other or something like that for a really long time, and they've not been able to forget how the two of you almost went into this kind of time vortex. And it's like they could have just kissed you forever. That's what I'm hearing from this masculine. Also, a real longing to be physically close to you, to connect with you in that type of way again. Okay, with the cards, the Eight of Swords reversed and also the Seven of Cups upright, I feel that the masculine sees you almost as this impossible dream, like as their unattainable ideal. They're also seeing you or perceiving you, Divine Feminine, as someone who has a lot of options and choices at this time. 